I am isosceles, and I am a villain, they tell me. <laughs> but you don't think so? No, of course not. <laughs> I treat my minions well. This is Naima, day two of DEFCON 5. This is the 18 van. You ain't got to get me on no plane. So what's the, what is the best film that you've seen so far this year? Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool, <laughs> Deadpool. Yeah. Good shout, good shout. And there's the, <laughs> is there a particular film next year that's coming out or upcoming at the end of this year? You Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah. It has to be Guardians of the Galaxy Rogue 2. Rogue One. Yeah. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> so are you, are you a massive Star Wars fan, are you then? <laughs> do you think, what do you think of the prequels? Not bad. Not bad. I've seen worse. Yeah. Yes. So it's between people in the Marvel Universe. So we've got Chris Hemsworth, obviously Thor, Chris Evans, Captain America, and uh, Chris Pratt, Star Lord. So snog, marry, and avoid. What are we saying? Uh, Chris Hemsworth, I would definitely marry him. Um, any, any, any difference on that? No, I'd agree on that one. I think every woman is. Every woman in the world would say that. I would. Now and in, and in I'd snog that Chris that. Evans. Yeah. Definitely. And unfortunately, I would have to avoid Star Lord. Adam? You are dressed as Black Widow, and very sexy he is too. Now, in Star Wars, Kylo's Kylo Ren's real name is what? Something Solo. <laughs> You're half right, yeah. Ben Solo, half a point. Uh, who is better, Harley Quinn or Deadpool? Harley Quinn. Okay, Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> and what comic book movie do you think they should make next? Hmm. Comic book movie. I'm gonna say they're gonna have to redo Judge Dredd. Yeah. Um, we've already brought out the book a card game and also mugs and there's a board game to come out we're already doing a board game at the moment and there'll be other characters coming out as costumers as well so uh, what's better the marvel universe or the star wars universe which is more special star wars i believe fantastic and uh, who would win in a fight spider-man or batman oh, batman i would believe I, I saw you coming through over the over the, from the uh, Asda car park. I had to say, <gasps> classic V. I loved it. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. So, why, why, why are you a big fan of this show? I am. I'm Supreme Commander. Yeah, I'm this is Lieutenant Sarah. My age for the day. Have you been eating gerbils today? Mm, we might have one later. <laughs> We're hoping that they have a wrap burger. We're hoping that the McDonald's here will cater for us. I think they one. probably get this. So if you want your wrap burger, then McDonald's over the road should be the one. What did you think of the do you see the remake of thing? The, yes. Uh, the one? What did, what did you think of that? Not impressed. No. It didn't have the same charm, did it? Well one just that it was too sort of covert, everything was all undercover. Mm. Whereas with the original was we model, you had a plate and this is who we are, we are what we do. Yeah. And this other lot was all sort of hugger mugger, oh yeah, you know, we wear smart suits, we've tried to blend in. Yeah, no, I was just kidding. And then it's a bit too CGI, I thought, as well. It was, and also the fact it relied very much on a certain supreme leader spending more time... I quite enjoyed Star Trek Beyond. Yeah. I quite enjoyed that one. That was very, very fun. And I also did enjoy um, Independence Day Resurgent. I know some people didn't. I enjoyed it. I thought, not as good as the first one, but enjoyable. So we're here with literally the scariest thing I've ever seen. Is this, from, is this like the It version of the Predator, is it? Just a horrifying Halloween nightmare. And of course, Lady Vader. Yes. What did you think of The Force Awakens? Brilliant. How would you rank it in the rest of the Star Wars films? Not because the first few, but it's up there. Uh, I'm Serena, and I'm dressed as from Harrison Wells. <laughs> I'm Max, and I'm dressed as Frisk. And I'm Sky, and I'm Harley Quinn. What did you think of the uh, new Suicide Squad film, then? Loved it. <laughs> silly, qu silly question, really. 
So here's a question for him. We'll start off with this one. Well, who's the best on-screen Joker that you've seen so far? Uh, no, because Heath Ledger was brilliant, but I do love Jared Leto as well, because yeah. I think that's just a 30 Seconds to Mars fan here. So. <laughs> How about you? Um, I also quite enjoyed Jared Leto as the Joker. I thought, it was, he, thought he kicked. Ugh. I thought he did really well, but I also quite like the person that they're kind of using as the Joker in Gotham of uh, Cameron Monaghan. So <laughs> I, I quite like him too. <laughs> it's got to be Heath Ledger. Yeah. So who, who's the hottest person in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? That's going to be um, <laughs> Sebastian <laughs> Stan. <laughs> so who, who would win in a fight between Captain America and uh, Batman? Captain America, because Captain America. <laughs> we got divisive, uh, divisive opinions. But now. Batman, he, that's the only explanation you need, Batman. So what movie are you, are you next looking forward to? Anything, anything particular films that are coming out that you're kind of liking? I'm looking forward to the Black Panther film, because oh, yeah. I fell in love with Black Panther during Civil War, and also the way to soldier has been confirmed for it, so. <laughs> I'm here for Justice League, and... Um, And um, it slipped from my mind. <laughs> <laughs> the Doctor, uh, Chloe Blandell. Fantastic, you look absolutely fantastic. So who is your favourite Doctor overall? I hate that question. I have a really, I have a cop out for it. I oh. say the Doctor himself, because uh. they're all just different versions of the same guy. Okay, well I'll narrow it down. How about the newer version from Christopher Eccles and onwards? Oh, I do cosplay the 10th Doctor, so yeah. I do love the 10th Doctor. But I also think Peter Capaldi is brilliant. Mm. And there's a lot of like people who go, don't like him, he's too grumpy. I just think he's become the Doctor, and he's so brilliant as the Doctor. Yeah, fantastic. I always used to think the Tom Baker Doctor, I'm old, basically, they used to scare me when I was a little boy. <laughs> I thought it was some scary stuff. Yeah, I think Doctor Who's lost some of its scare factor. But I guess it almost feels like more of a modern family programme. Mm. But it is nice that it's getting some of that scare back. It's getting more of like the multiple episodes for a storyline. And the Americans love it now. Yes, there's such a big American love for it. And there's so many cosplayers and ideas and all sorts of comes from America, which is brilliant. Because it just means there's more for us to share and geek out over. Absolutely. So film-wise, I mean, have you seen many movies this year? Oh, I've seen a lot of the Marvel ones. What was your favourite uh, film that you've seen? Ooh, Deadpool. Yeah. Deadpool is brilliant. But I also loved um, Civil War. Yeah. Ooh, Chris is. Well, I'm going to marry Chris Evans because I just love him. I kiss Chris Hemsworth and not kill Chris Pratt. Do you know, no one likes Chris Pratt. So we're here with two scoundrels, someone who loves me and, of course, Boba Fett. Uh, so did you survive the Starlight pit? Of course I did. How did you get out of that? Ah, uh, they turned him, wasn't it? Hi, this is Naima from Geek Legion of Doom. I'm going to get my portrait done by Carl Riley, comic book artist. Let's see how that turns out. Thank you.